In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send for your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in his consolation to Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory, Glory to, to you, you Lord. O Lord. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong and strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking in the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore. <laughs> which they were the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, the gospel is rather short. Do not be afraid. These are the uh, famous words of uh, St. John Paul. Be not afraid. And now, Jesus telling Jesus telling, telling us, be not, do not be afraid. He is with you. He is with us always. And what are we afraid of? Many things. This present time, well, one thing, this pandemic, you know, we're afraid. Losing our jobs, businesses, losing our loved ones, especially if they are the only breadwinner in the family. Failing in our uh, exams, even worse, or rumors of war. That's the worst. Yeah, right now. Right now. Right now. You just said, do not be afraid. I am in control. I am with you. So it says that love removes fears. No. But perfect love removes all fears. And that means we should develop that love, perfect love. Perfect love. And uh, most of us uh, have our, our own securities. No? And what is our security in life? Maybe a stable job. All members of the family. in consonance with others, no fighting. So it is about love and trust in God. We all have our uh, problems in life, trials. And where do we go? To him. We pray to him always. That's what we do. And we are good at that. And it is uh, by his grace and mercy. It's uh, enough to bring us to, uh, to safety. As it is uh, written in the gospel. Thank you. 
Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Manny. Um, at this age, uh, at this uh, stage of our life, no, we have experience. Siguro, not not only one, maybe two or one or more or two or more. No, na, na um, there was there was darkness in our life, and then how did we handle? How did we handle the darkness when it happened in our life? Hindi tayo pwede na walang darkness na it happened to us. Yes. Experience. Ano, lahat tayo is, is uh, ano, uh, lahat tayo is naka-experience. But the way we manage and the way we handle this darkness when it comes to our life, yun ang ano, uh, that's the one that counts talaga. Uh, and then, kahit, tapos itong may, may, mga, may mga ibaba na they, they handle the darkness in their lives, no? experiences in their life, no? um, in a wrong way, just like nag-drugs ang iba, nag-alcohol, tumataba because kain ng kain. Kung dip, uh, uh, the, uh, depression nila is gina, ano nila, gina, gina, gina manifest nila sa, uh, sa ibang bagay. Ang iba is nagiging irritable, uh, hindi na makathink, they lost their job so many things now negative things but if we only focus our attention to Jesus who is the light of our life no wala nang darkness i mean just 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 have faith yun lang just have faith kasi lahat tayo if we if we turn back akala ko noon nung personal experience ko akala ko noon mamamatay na ako nang, when i have that uh, darkness in my life akala ko mamatay na ako and then i can I, sa, sa ano lang natin no sa human sa human ano lang natin no capacity you cannot you you cannot um you cannot think or you cannot uh, handle the situation by yourself kung kung ikaw lang talagang hopeless na hopeless but if you pray and you survive now personally i can always say ay, yun lang naman pala, eh. prayers lang naman pala. Pero during that time, akala ko mamatay, mamamatay na ako. Mga ganyan ba? So, when it happens, but during, uh, during the, uh, these moments in our life, no, there's always Jesus who promised everything, who is always with us. Yun ang, yun ang message ng, gas, ng gospel na ito. Very beautiful. Hope. Faith. Yun ang ano niya. Y yun ang message ng gospel ngayon is hope, faith just cling to him ask for his help he's always with us yun ang promise eh. yun ang promise very very ano ito very very um popular ba na, na do not be afraid do not be afraid kasi kung minsan mawawala din ang focus mo mawawala din ang focus mo if you are in a situation akala mo hopeless na but if you survive, no, it, it, it was not hopeless. You were not hopeless during that time. You, ju you, you just have to have the right solution, mm -hmm. the right person or the right something to cling on. You mm -hmm. know, money. Yeah. If, if we, ha, ha, if, if we, yeah. if we, if we, no, no, during our, hindi lang ako, lahat tayo eh. Di ba? Yeah. During that like darkness. Yes. Ho, oh, yeah. lahat tayo is naka-experience. Uh -huh. At, at, Oh, oh, lahat tayo ang ang iba nga ang ang iba um some of us no have started um exp uh, have started or have experienced darkness in our life no early thank god i had that when i was already like mature na ba mature na and spiritually mature na and 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 uh, uh, and at that age no in my life no na i have i had the right persons and right uh, advices and everything. Kaya ang ano natin, no, ibuksan natin ang mata natin. No, kasi ang, ang kawawa, itong mga young ones, they, they don't know. Especially if they don't have good Christian foundation. Yun ang kawawa. Yun ang kawawa. So many, so many things uh, going on. So many fears. Especially pagkatapos ng pandemic, pagkatapos ng ganito, pagkatapos ng ganyan, mga mga earthquake, mga mga na wipe out ang ano mo, na wipe out ang properties mo ng flood, ng typhoon, whatever. And then pandemic, after ng pandemic na yun ang akala natin, yun ang pinaka pinaka, pinaka nakakatakot which which is nakakatakot itong itong threats of 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 third ano, uh, world war third 
hindi ito ano it's still in the future no sa atin kasi hopefully no confined and contained lang sa sa Ukraine pero what if it becomes global yon ang pinaka pinaka ano pinaka ano tawag dito uh, scary fearful fearful Oo, yun ang kwan. So let, let, let's uh, continue on praying lang para para to have to to um, to give us strength and to give us hope and have faith and um, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, ano ho? Nakakatakot kasi. I mean, don't do not be afraid pero pero human lang tayo nakakatakot talaga. <laughs> si ano bang hindi matakot sa nuclear war? <laughs> wala dito si Tita Annabel no sabi Tita Annabel naku bago gupit pa naman ako o tapos magira <laughs> so so yun lang yun lang yeah. ano ko <laughs> thank you very I I have here the 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 reflection of of uh, Das Marinas no pero more or less the same din naman ang theme eh. so ipas ko na lang siguro The same lang naman. <laughs> Tita Bell, your turn. Conquer the fear of being alone. It's one great moment to feel an unseen company in the presence of God. To have a sense of belongingness is to have an intimate bond necessary to attain happiness in life. Being alone generates a good self-introspection while loneliness conceals yourself and becomes a great obstacle to your quest for contentment. You could be happily alone but never dispose to yourself being isolated. There could be a lot of upsets and destructions in being lonely but peace and serenity could be obtained in your desired solitude. Being alone leads you to seek God's solace, while loneliness swerves you to stray from it. Ask God to accompany you in the frightening moment of your darkness, in the course of your weakness, in encountering difficulties beg for His strength to face your trials with confidence and stability. Never fear of being in your solitary tranquility. For he has always been with you, even at the lowest moment of your life. With his quiet presence, comfort to fear will. You could be alone in your life, but never lonely with God by your side. From Harukati. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful thing. Uh-oh. So I I think I'm going to read this kasi beautiful din ito kasi this is not from Haro Cathedral. I mean this is not from Das Marinas. Medyo long lang no. Sige eh ano ko lang ha. I-share ko lang ha. Saglit lang naman ito. Ang, ang sabi dito, do not be afraid. Yun ang title. This very familiar phrase was spoken once again, do not be afraid. This setting is significant. It is dark and the apostles are out to the sea. If you're ever been if you've ever been out in the middle of the sea when it's dark and you know that this is a bit frightening. Nakakatakot kung pitch dark ba. So the apostles would have been feeling a bit lost as if they were in the middle of nowhere. But in the midst of this experience ang dark is a para, para din sa mga experience natin. But in the midst of this experience, Jesus came walking to them and told them, It is I, do not be afraid. This would have been quite consoling to them. We must see this experience of the apostles, the daily experience, ito, daily experience natin. Huh? Uh, so many have. Many can feel as if they are surrounded by nothing. Modern life natin ito. Surrounded by nothing, alone and lost, just like what uh, Tita Bell said. Sure, this may not be an overwhelming feeling for some, but it is all too often an experience many do have to one degree or another. This experience of being at sea in the dark, itong experience natin, comes in many forms, though. Perhaps your life is one where you do not have many around and feel the constant experience of isolation. 
Tong sabi ni Tita Bell, being alone. Or perhaps you put on, on a good face and pres uh, present yourself as one who has it all together, but inside you are deeply struggling. Pwede ka makapapretend ba? Pwede ka makapretend every, everything is okay, but deep inside mo you are struggling. Whatever the case may be, Jesus wants to come to you and to console you. Reflect today upon these words of Jesus. Listen to him when, when, when he said to you, when he says to you, it is I. Ako ito. Don't be afraid. Ako, ako ito. As you hear him say these words, turn to him and acknowledge his presence. I-acknowledge natin. Dapat i-acknowledge natin ang presence niya. We, sh we should know, we should discern ang presence of the Lord sa atin. As you hear him say these words, to turn to him and acknowledge his presence. Let him come into the dark sea that you may feel that is surrounding you. Hear him say, do not be afraid. There are so many experiences in life that we can that we have that we can fear or magiging fear fearful tayo. So many times that fear could take hold of us. If we but if we let ourselves focus on Jesus, the fear of our daily surroundings disappears. We discover deep within that Jesus is right there. Nandito lang si Jesus atin. And all is well being because he cares and is in control. Just trust him, no? Have faith. He is in control of everything. Let him into the boat of your heart and let him take over. He is coming to you and is waiting for a response. Sabihin mo na lang, if you, if you have, no matter how big our problem is, no? Sabihin mo lang, Lord, please... Be in control of my life. Lord of all consolation, so often I fail to acknowledge your divine presence in my life. So often I fail to see you coming to me. Help me to know that you are always there. You are always here with me. Free me from the many fears of life, dear Lord, and give me courage to welcome you fully into my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. 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 Uh, beautiful. Divine mercy. Divine mercy. Uh, yeah, divine mercy. Yes. Oh, divine very, mercy. very, very nice. Ang ano niya. Very nice ang message. And, uh, and do not be afraid. Very nice ang message. Ng kwan. It's a big lesson in our life. Na, kasi lahat tayo is naka-experience ng darkness. Eh. Darkness in our life. By, in one way or another. Different intensity. Different shame. Different form. But it's all pareho lang. Pareho lang na darkness. Yes. Darkness in our life. Amen. 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 So, Tito Elmer. To summarize everything. Yeah. Uh, sige, please go ahead. Don't be afraid of the dark. Keep the lights on. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> Yan ang solusyon ko. Kala ko seryoso ko talaga. That's my solution. Tito, Tito Manny. On yan, lahat na ilaw. Sige, on. <laughs> Bahala na mag-asno sa kuryente. Sinabi na yun. The light of the world. Light of the world. Keep the light. Okay. So, amen. It's true. One of the I am's, no? I am the yeah, light. I am the light. Uh -oh. I, I, uh -oh. Part, uh, seven I am's. Uh -oh. Part of uh, seven, I, I am the light. Uh -oh. I know. Can I, can I batch you, you know? Yeah. I already told you. Come on, Tito Elmer. Let's summarize the piece of money. <laughs> keep the light keep the lights on <laughs> please go ahead mm -hmm. <laughs> okay um, I will be sharing with you this reflection which I have done already the fourth time but I don't mind saying it again in another group so before we start, allow me to ask help from the Lord. Heavenly Father, we believe in you. 
we trust in you and we love you. You have invited us to this time of prayer. Open our heart to hear and receive your word. Increase our faith, hope, and love so that it make me us more able to enter into dialogue with you. We want to let you be the more present in our, in our life, dear risen Lord. First, first of the three areas, it was evening, stormy, and dark. So the apostles were alone, and John told us it had already grown dark and that Jesus was not with them. And this was when the sea steered up and the strong winds began blowing in the journey. So in this journey that they have with the Lord, there are many storms that come up along the way. So some arise because we ourselves have turned away from the Lord. And I'm sure you turn away from the Lord, you'll experience that storm in your life. Others, perhaps like this one, for the apostles appear because the Lord wants to help us grow in our faith. During life storm, our rock solid faith can strengthen us against the thrashing waves. And I wish, and let me call and let me quote St. Paul of the Cross. I wish you to be a rock, a wave that is against you. And Jesus said, silence. It assails you 10 or a hundred or a thousand times. Silence. Say at most in the midst of the storm. And the prayer of Saint Paul of the Cross, my father, my father, I am all yours, oh dear, oh sweet will of God, I adore you, Saint Paul of the Cross. I have been to that stormy evening and dark in the middle of the sea of the Indian, Indian Ocean. And the oil rig was tilting back and forth. And if you are in control, what do you say? Hey, let's float. So stamp the driver, the diver down there and unlock the rig. And the rig was floating and tilting back and forth. And I keep, we keep on praying that we will not tilt so much that we can maintain our balance. So another stormy evening and darkness is when you're about to lose to lose your life and it was already my third time and you just close your eyes and said lord lord it has been this long you take over 
or do you want me to do something? And you know what happened. I opened my eyes and saw Father Danny on the phone and said, Tito, how are you? Father just opened my eyes. So the second one, do not be afraid. How many times in the gospel and all of the scriptures the, the do these words come forth from the mouth and heart of God? How well he knows, how well he knows us, how easily we tend for fear. We fear surrender. We fear solitude. We fear scarcity, we fear betrayal. Betrayal, we, we fear abandonment and coming up short. At the middle of the sea, when you got ambush, but I don't, but you don't know who, must be from the left or from the right, but it's more of the left. And the ambush and keeps on firing. You have no recourse but to dive on the sea. In the sea, you don't know where you are. It's so dark. Then we tried we tried to go up the ground and take a breath. The enemy is no longer there. But we were shaking with fear and we were praying. And here, and let me quote the Bible passage from John. But he said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. Just imagine, we were still afraid. We have no, no way to escape. It's a sea between Capis and Mindoro, where do we go? Nowhere. And it's true, do not be afraid. It is I and host word. And may we allow the Lord host word is living and effective. Speak the truth and you over our lives, even in the deepest and loneliest storm. The Lord is with us in the boat. Jesus in the boat. Here John tells us they wanted to make Jesus into the boat, but immediately the boat reached the shore. So we see the fruit of the theological virtue of hope at work here. In his encyclical, Pope Benedict, Emeritus Benedict the 17th, or the 16th rather, writes, there are already present in us the things that are hope for the whole true life. And precisely because the thing itself is always present. And that presence 
of what is the same also creates certainty. In other words, through the Christian hope, we already possess the very thing we long for. Lord is already in our boat. The boat is already on the way to the shore. Talking now to Jesus. Jesus, you know, you know us better than we know ourselves. You know our fears. You know the storms that we find ourselves in right now. And also, you also know that we want to hope in you, to entrust you in our life, in you. Sometimes the enemy's voice feels louder than your own. The waves crash and we forget. Increase our hope, increase our trust. You are with us in the boat. Recent Jesus, you have already suffered all that we are carrying now and you have triumphed. We pray that those who do not know you, Jesus, who do not know the hope and the meaning you have come to bring in our lives, strengthen our hope as you did to your apostles so that we too, though your warriors, may be your instrument in the world. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Elmer. Thank you very much. So the bottom line here is uh, um, trust in the Lord, cling to him, call him uh, during the dark uh, uh, darkness in our, in our lives. And he's always there with us. Uh, just just um, feel his presence. Recognize his, his presence. Yun. Amen. Isabel, imagine you are in the state of heart attack. What, how would you feel? Do, do you have time to cry? Lord, Lord, no, you don't have time. You're just down down there and you when you start opening my your eyes and said lord bahala ka. let god let go let god what do you want Take us over. to do for you jesus i trust in you correct and sometimes things happen. Lord, take over. Lord, take over in my life. Yeah. And suddenly you see Father Danny. Tito, how are you? Father, kagagising ko lang. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Tito Elmer. Um, are you ready for the three pointers, Tito Linda? Yeah. I'm going to read. Tita Becky will book. Uh, oh, yeah, Tita yeah, Becky. I will read. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Ah, oh, you got it. Okay, please go ahead, Tita Bex. Beautiful okay. Uh, reflection. Okay. Pointers, the three pointers. Number one, the apostles were alone at sea in a storm and were fear fearful for their lives, even though they were experienced fishermen. Jesus calmed them by saying, do not be afraid because I am here with you. Second pointer. When you experience the storms of temptations, trials, 
shadows and spiritual darkness that threatened to overwhelm you. How did you respond? Did you seek the Lord as your security, strength, and help? <clears throat> Number three, if we truly trust in God's love, care, and believe strongly that he is always present to us, no fear can overwhelm us. Spend a few moments to sense his presence within you now. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. Very nice um, three pointers as usual. Okay. Let's go ahead, Tita Belen. Father, bless us as we leave this prayer gathering and help us to be a blessing to everyone that we meet and interact with. Help us never to forget that you are with us always. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. 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 Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Angel of God, my guardian dear, who God's love to meet me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guide, to rule and guide. Amen. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very nice reflections. Thank you. Yes. Uh -uh. Thank you very much. Uh -uh. Thank you. Bye, MJ. Uh -huh.